terms of infectious diseases. Infectious disease will be one of, I'm telling you, God's going to do some things in 2023 that are very, very supernatural. That are very, very supernatural. But you must not be distracted. Stay focused on the Word of God. Stay focused on what God spoke to you. Stay focused on God's promises. And do not be moved by distractions. Do not allow things to distract you. Do not allow things to take your attention off of what God is speaking and doing in this season. He told me to warn you, to warn you against major distractions. And like I said, I'm going to be very specific. We're going to see it a lot in the political arena in, in the first quarter of the year, going into the middle of the year, where there will be many, many things that are said, legislations, committees, and panels, but they're all smoke and mirror. They're just a show. They're not, they're, they're, there's no substance to them. Don't be distracted by that. They're, they're designed, they've been strategically orchestrated to take your attention and your focus off of what you ought to be focused on. To take your attention and your focus off of what you should be concentrated on. Don't be distracted. Don't give in to fear. Don't give in to fear. Don't give in to fear. Do not give in to fear. Don't give in to the, you know, it's this distraction. Taking your attention off of what God told you. Taking your attention off of what God spoke to you. This is very, very important. And the coming year, the Lord told me to warn you against this. Number one, warn you against deception. Number two, warn you against distraction. Warn you against distraction. And to warn you against, listen to this, disappointment and despair. The Bible actually says, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. For in my Father's house there are many mansions, many rooms. The writer of Hebrews says, in, in Hebrews chapter 10, he says, Do not cast away your confidence, which has great, great recompense of reward. I'm telling you, you need to hear this, and I'm telling you this by the Holy Ghost. Do not give in to the temptation in the upcoming year to believe that the things God has promised you have not come to pass. I'm telling you, the devil will try to play on you emotionally. He will try to make you think, you know what, I, I thought God was going to do this, and I thought God was going to do that, and I thought he was going to do this, and I thought he was going to do that, and none of it has happened. And the devil will try to use your disappointment to take you to a place of despair. That's where you give up hope. That's where you become hopeless. And in this next season of our lives, we must hold